Hi, I'm Stacy Tetchner, CEO of the National Speakers Association. But today, I'm coming to you in my role as the Executive Director of the NSA Foundation. I am excited to introduce you to a video series created by the Foundation that features 10 NSA leading ladies who have served as President of the Association during the last 43 years. This series will feature unique insights and stories from these leading ladies on the crucial roles they played in NSA's history and development. Everything will culminate with an in-person reception and fundraising event at Influence 2016 in Phoenix. I look forward to seeing you there. I consider it my second family. Having been a member since 1977, I have friendships that are so important to me. Uh, I even knew about NSA three years before I joined. In fact, I could have been a founding member. Uh, I was at a speaker's workshop and a uh, showcase, actually, Jordan, Dupree Jordan, many of you know him. Uh, and Susie Sutton came up to me and said that there was a speaker organization forming in Phoenix, Arizona, and would I be interested? I lived in St. Louis at the time, and most of my engagements were local. So I remember thinking to myself, why on earth would I want to belong to a speaker organization in Phoenix, Arizona? But over the next three years, I kept hearing about this new speaker organization that was, that was forming and had formed. And I went to a convention in 1977 and I did join on the spot. So it's a very, very important part of my life. The spirit of Cavett is very integral to NSA. Uh, Cavett Robert, our founder, again, a wonderfully warm, outgoing person, uh, always talked about building a bigger pie. He said, rather than take a pie and make the slices smaller and smaller and smaller, we need to build a bigger pie. I took that to heart. And that was part of the genesis of forming the International Federation. Certainly getting the world in on the speaking business is part of building a much bigger pie. He also, uh, part of the spirit of Cavett, I think, is the outgoing, helping, warm nature of Cavett. And I've always tried to do that. I've helped other speakers. I've coached a number of speakers uh, for no fee. <laughs> Uh, I've always given speeches to chapters and to the National uh, NSA, National Speakers Association. So I think, again, the spirit of Cavett is building a bigger pie and giving to your, the speaking profession, giving back. When I think of leadership, one of the most important qualities to look for in my mind is recognizing honing talent within the organization. It's so easy to use the same talent over and over again, but if you don't recognize and use new talent coming up, you suddenly will find yourself with the same people over and over again, and your organization will shrink because people aren't being recognized. So to me, uh, honing and using the talent that's available and getting involved from the start, getting involved in absolutely everything so that you know every aspect of the organization.